what are Okazaki fragments? Well, if we remember, we've got our DNA, and it unwinds, unravels. We've got the enzyme helicase separating the two sides. So we've got our two sides of DNA separated, yep, badly drawn DNA. And matching up against this, we're going to have nucleotides. Matching up hydrogen bonds, complementary base pairing, beside each exposed base. Now because our DNA is anti-parallel, one side points up, the other side points down, these guys point in the opposite direction on the other side of our newly forming DNA strands. So we end up with something like this. Now standard level, your enzyme DNA polymerase attaches. Here it is, and it works its way along here, sticking everything together. For a higher level IV, there'll be an RNA primer put down, which is where our DNA polymerase 3 attaches and moves along. Now you can imagine here that, from this point, as our DNA is opening here, this enzyme can keep on moving down, attaching. We'll get all the way through to the end of the DNA in one clean piece. But the problem is the other side. The enzyme attaches, but it works in the opposite direction, sticks everything together to the end. Now our DNA unwinds some more. I'll have to just draw this unwound a bit more. Those have been stuck together already. Yep. There'll be an RNA primer or polymerase. We're making DNA here, so it'll be DNA polymerase, and there'll be a multitude of them. This strand is being made in one piece all the way down because if we go back to this guy here, it's now moved to here. It's moving along in the same direction the DNA is opening. Our initial other DNA polymerase, polymerase 3, this guy, started here, moved along to the end of the strand, is no more good. But there's a whole lot more exposed bases now. So another DNA polymerase has to join on and work in this direction, sticking bases together. So as we go along, this strand is going to be made in one piece. This strand is going to be made in many short pieces because there is a gap here. And these short pieces that we make are called Okazaki fragments. In the end, some other enzymes are going to come in. Um, at a higher level, you know, each of these actually started with an RNA primer, short section. The RNA primer is going to be replaced by DNA polymerase 1, and then ligase is going to come in and join each of these together. So we end up with one strand. But the whole idea of Okazaki fragments is the enzyme works the opposite direction to the way the DNA is opening, so you get lots of small pieces.